Hello, this is Noreen Crone Findlay from CroneFindlay.com and ToddyTalksCrafts.com. I'm going to show you how to weave with yarn on the 27 peg or 27 nail um, potholder loom. It's just exactly the same as when you're weaving with yarn on the regular standard size yarn. So what you do is you need to tie, if you're using uh, the, the Harrisville Designs Pro Loom, then see how I've got the yarn tied onto the lower right hand corner. If you are using the Dewberry Ridge um, 27 peg 9 inch loom, then just tie it to the little button down here. Now the process of warping the loom, I am using two strands held together of sport weight yarn. If you want to use um, eco yarn, like uh, that fabric strips that you've cut from upcycled fabric, from worn out garments or linens, whatever, one strand of that will work. And uh, same thing with t-shirt yarn and also bulky yarns. So you are going to take your yarn from the lower right hand corner just trying to adjust some lights here and it's going to go up to the first nail on the upper left hand corner and you'll just keep going up and down across your loom just like that and it doesn't take long at all to warp your loom I'm just going to do a bit of warping on this one and then show you it's exactly the same process on the pro sized Harrisville loom. You take your yarn up from the lower right hand corner to the upper right hand corner and now you're going to, boy, filming a black is tricky. Okay, so you're going to go around that first peg and back up and you're going to work back and forth across the loom until you have all of your loom warped from top from top to bottom bottom to top all the way across both looms so I'm going to do that and I'll be back so I have got both looms warped from the lower right up ski down ski all across ski all the way across to the left hand side and now what I've got on this loom is that I have woven in a dowel and I meant to go and measure oh hey I have a ruler right here it's uh, about three eighths of an inch in diameter dowel and knitting needle will work whatever will reach across and not be too thick to um, because otherwise it'll pop your um, pop your loops off so the way that you weave in the shed stick and this is a um, one of the arms of a hairpin lace loom and you just go under all of the strands that are on the odd numbered nails or pegs all the way across you go over the next set and you're picking up making sure that you kind of flip them out of the way with your finger so that you can make sure you've got all four strands because you've got four strands when you're using two strands of the uh, worsted yarn held together if you're using bulky or t-shirt yarn you'll just have two strands to pick up and you go all the way across and then push your shed stick right up under the the um right under the nails there. Now let's go down a little bit. Can't go down too much because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to weave a I have a a long um, Afghan or Tunisian hook that on the odd rows I will just scoot that hook along the um, shed stick and then angle it down and I'm going to fold over a length of the yarn 
pull it through between the first and second set, uh, uh, nails there on the left hand side and I'm putting tension on it to keep it from popping off. Now it's kind of tricky to do this when you're you're uh, trying to film at the same time. So those strands will go across and be put onto the first nail of the of the right hand side. So there it is. Now when I put it on there it was loose and so what I did was I pulled it up on the left hand side to pull that across. Now what I'm going to do, and you notice that it's easier if you work at the top hand uh, edge of the loom so you can see what you're doing more easily. And you pull your uh, strands aside with your finger and pick up the strands that were under your shed stick and go over the strands that are on top for row two and all the even numbered rows. So now I'm going to scoot down just like I did with row one and the hook comes out now this time between the first and second you know, I said to put the hook out uh, between the first two, and actually, when I thought about it, I went, wait a minute, that's not what I do. So I do put the hook through um, the uh, between the second and third, and then I pull out a length of yarn, I then slide it across the loom, get my foot off the yarn on the floor, that makes it so much better, and I place it on the second nail and on the right hand side I make sure that the uh, yarn is going around the second nail on the left hand side and because I after I have pushed that row down this one is still a bit loose so I put my I push my thumb onto the nail just to hold it and then I pull to the left. And now I'm going to repeat those two rows all the way up to the top of the loom on both this loom and this loom. It's the exact same process on both looms. And I will do that so that I have, uh, will just repeat that process of weaving and then come back and show you how to chain it off. There's something I want to show you on the Harrisville uh, Pro Loom. I'm going to scoot my um, hook up against my shed stick and now you can see the tip of my hook doesn't fit between the um, pegs. That's not a problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up, I always pull up a loop of yarn from the balls of yarn sitting beside me and that's what's going to go through. I'm not going to start by pulling from here because it shreds your yarn doing that. So start with a loop first. Now because my hook isn't going through the gaps between the, the pegs, I'm just taking, I'm going to take the hook back through, but I am taking the yarn through the gaps without worrying about the uh, placement of like without worrying that I couldn't get the hook through there. So now see I have extra yarn there so I push down on this peg to keep it on and I just pull to the left with this. I pull this and I push into place. So even though my hook doesn't go between my pegs, it's not a problem. So I have woven all the way to the top. Okay, just adjust the camera there ever so slightly uh, on both looms and I'm going to pull the shed stick out of both looms. I also want to show you a little bit of troubleshooting. Now here is a weaving error here. Now you can easily say, oh, wabi-sabi. Or you can say, mm, yeah, 
wabi-sabi, but I think I'll fix it. So what I'm going to do, push down and move over. Okay, push down some more. There we go. Let's see if I can get that a little bit closer. So I'm just tracking along that it that row error is here. So I'm going to lift that uh, row off the, the hook and just slightly past where the error is. I'm just pulling the um, hook back through and I'm going to go all the way up to the place where the error is. I'm going to take the weft loops over the offending warp loop that didn't get picked up and now I'm going to put the loop back on the hook and pull it back through. You know I always say that I like it when I make errors when I'm doing a video because then it gives me a chance to share um, uh, with uh, people who are watching the video. There! So the mistake is fixed. Easy as pie. Okay, so when I yeah, so when I make an error and I fix it, it gives me a chance then to um, make it the situation better by showing people how they can fix it too. So now I'm going to chain off. I'm going to do this on both of the um, both of the looms. I will untie the um, where I tied the the starting tail on now. This is just one of the ways in the uh, new Potholder Loom book that I've just uh, that is uh, that I've written, and it's uh, available really soon. This is one of the ways of um, finishing the edges, and there are a lot of ways. What you do is you pick up the first two um, set of loops on the lower right-hand corner and the second loop is pulled through the first loop and you just keep working your way all the way around the loom and taking the the newly lifted loop set of loops through the loops that are on the hook and so that is how you will chain off your loops and it'll give you a clean finished edge so I'm going to do that on this square and on this one and then I'll be right back. And so both squares are now finished and um, I, I just love the uh, 9 inch potholder loom and I hope that you will too. I just wanted to point out something to you and that is that um, this uh, square was woven with two strands of the teal held together. This one was woven with one strand of the multicolor and one strand of the teal. Now when you combine uh, two colors of yarn in different ways you get a different looking square completely. Uh, this one is um, a twill pattern uh, with two strands of teal, two strands of um, the multicolor and here this one is a checkerboard again two strands of the teal two strands of the um, of the multicolor and here it, again two strands of teal two strands of multicolor so all of these different variations are in the potholder loom weaving book and I hope that you're going to enjoy it a whole lot there's so many techniques and so much great stuff in there. Lots of techniques, lots of projects, and all of which is all about happy weaving. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.